ASMR. What? Okay. This is, I feel like, is it kind of all on you or are we pretty? No, I think we're even. Are we? I don't remember how we started. I don't remember how we started either. Okay. Welcome to. Welcome back to Tavia Talk. Yeah. It's been a minute. I mean, how many minutes? Um, I think our last one was in March. Is right it? Right before the pandemic hit. So it's been about nine months since we've. Could have had a whole baby by now. Podcasted. Mm -hmm. I've tried. Trust me. I have not tried <laughs> to have a baby. So yeah, welcome back. Yes. Well, obviously we've been talking, but we haven't been talking. To you. To you, but yeah, what's been going on? What's and been let's, happening? Let's see, what's really changed in the last nine what's months? What's changed? Let's talk about our backdrop. You just redid your fireplace. Yeah, we thought we would ho 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 ya. Ho 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 it up. Um, so cute. I've, I've cut my hair a few times, dyed it a few different colors during this whole thing, and oh, I, yeah, we're a little I started medication. <laughs> yeah. Wait, had but I started medication? It's fine. Did this? I'm fine. Everything is fine. Oh, cute. Yeah. yeah. Look at the cup. So our cup says, you got to read it because, you know, not everybody's. It's Reading. fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. We are fine. We're it's not fine. With periods after every mm -hmm. sentence. Yep. Um, that's been me and just, just trying to live my life over here. Yeah. By the way, we are not sitting six feet apart. Um, well, we've been around each other quite a bit. Right. We pretty much. Quarantine together. Well, I don't know if we quarantine together. I oh, so if we really want to get into it. I my face is rounder. I I lost my marbles at the beginning of quarantine. Colin went straight. Britney Spears circa when when was that? Two thousand nine. I did. I shaved my head. Yeah. I stayed in my loft pretty much exclusively for about a month. I ordered my groceries. Yeah. My mom even went to the grocery store and I was like, you need a quarantine for two weeks. Yep. I'm not seeing you. Like it was a whole thing. Colin went off the deep end. I think he was driving on the highway and said, you were like screaming out the window. We're all going to die. We might as well eat fast food or something. Something like that. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was kind of a dark moment. I mean, I've been eating fast food my whole life, so I don't know if that was like the end all for me, but. Yeah. So I'm trying to get back on the skinny train. Oh, me um, too. My face is gotten a little if thicker. You, I love your nails, by the way. They're like a matte green. That's the other thing that happened to me. I got a little more spontaneous, not so basic. Yeah, the pink. Mm -hmm. What would you do, like, during winter? Did you do pink during the winter? I don't remember. Just, I was just a pink kind of girl. Just all year round. All year round. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're mixing it up. It's a very mixing pretty matte green. Matte green for the holidays. And I so. even wore my redness. Oh my god, you're red and green. Cute. I was trying to match the drop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just wearing a flop doodle hoodie. He looks like a giant camel toe over here. Probably, yeah, in very neutrals. I camel probably have up and down. Dog hair and baby spit because I went to go see Randy uh, and the baby Arlo. And he's very, very cute, but he was farting on me. He needed a diaper change. He was very cute. Colin was 16 minutes late because he double booked. 16, not 60 in case you didn't hear that. Colin's been dating. He's had a couple... Snafus. Would we call them that? Uh, I, the only one that comes to mind is the last one. We won't say any names. Yeah, but, there's no names, but... And I don't know if we call any names, but... It was... Uh, we were just a little mentally unstable, I think. I mean, we started fighting before we went on our first date. So that's probably a red flag. I think. But I was pushing for it still. Tavia was like, give him a chance. Because she's not in the dating world. Like, no. Yeah, you don't see the red flags like I do. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, I don't know about this. And you're like, give him a chance. So here's the thing is, during quarantine, I also watched Schitt's Creek. Oh, yes. Favorite. Daniel Levy. I'm already taken. So I can't have a new best friend. But if you left me, I would. You'd see I would, Daniel Levy. I would petition Wait, to be. Question for you. Would you do Daniel Levy or uh, Cody Ringsby? Which one would you pick? Oh, they're like both fantastic. Because but you I know feel that like. Daniel Levy is not. He plays a character in that show. I mean, that is a portion, I would think, of his personality. But yeah. that's not exactly him. No, but he seems fabulously great. He does seem And great. I feel like because I already have like this great complexion, big browed friend. Like Daniel would I, just fit right into where you left off. I do kind of fit the mold of Daniel. Yeah. David! Anyways, um, so in the movie or the show, I don't want to spoil it, but there's this lovely gentleman, Patrick, who used to be married to a woman. So I just try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt that it could work out. Like, 
David didn't want to give it a chance. And then, oh, good thing he did. Right. But in my case, it was... This friend. But not, not, no. not a good situation. I'm seeking a Patrick. Ah, this is my mode to get Patrick. We are going to put out a... Um, Craigslist ad. Craigslist ad. <laughs> I, I am seeking a gay man. Um, well, no, here's the thing. TV's always like, I'm going to put you on Match.com because she thinks that's the end-all be-all of like... No, I just think it's better than the Gefinder. Grinder. Right, the Gefinder. Well, that's how I met my last little fling, which is going very well, by the way. Oh, from State Farm? Yeah, so uh, met a guy, his name's Jake. And from State Farm. Every time I say that, Tavia says from State Farm. I told, I texted him last night. I said, I think I'm going to have to start calling you Jacob because my friend keeps saying from State Farm and it's driving me insane. <laughs> so anyway, so I met him on Grindr. Wait, why are we saying really his well. name? Uh, because I'm not talking shit about him. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nice things. Yeah. Have we had any friend drama? We haven't, like, I would say this year, like, normally... In my years, there's always some sort of friend drama, but 2020 has been really drama-less. Well, well, it's because you've been holed up in your house with your family. Well, and I think I just give zero fucks. Like, if, Okay, language. Oh, are you allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, zero. Oopses. Exactly. I just give zero. Yeah. Okay, well, so people can probably relate to how was your quarantine with your family, with the homeschool, all of that. Give, like, radical candor of, like, how I did that I should have go? got on medication in April. Before. Yeah, yeah. I'm only, like, a month I in. mean, describe it. What happened? How did it go down? It was awful. I have... It was awful. I have two children at home screaming, fighting. My husband was locked up. How old are your kids? Seven and almost five. Okay. So they were six and four and a half ish and it was just hard it was shitty you would call so what grades are they in well now second and pre-k but it was but first then, grade and pre-k first and pre-k yeah. so i mean Tavia, we didn't teach the pre-k anything there's nothing to teach and we well, did like we tried to like books, books like workbooks and things like that right yeah but she wants to learn olivia's stuff and i don't i don't have time to teach that i just i'm not meant to be a teacher right right Props to the props teachers. To the teachers yeah, my God. Make that their daily. Commitment. I just honestly <laughs> feel like teachers deserve way more money. I would agree. Yeah. So I'll sign that petition too. Yeah. Was it nice spending time with your family though, or was it just too much? No, it was great, but I am definitely a quality over quantity kind of girl. Yeah. Like sometimes I think smothering every each other, like you're just irritated and you're over it. And like now I miss Luke. He's not here every day. Oh, I used to just walk in sweet. there. I know. I have my moments. I used to just walk in there and just be like, Luke, come help me. And now I'm like, Luke. I even texted him today and said, thank you for undoing the dishwasher. Oh, that's I sweet. Pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> mm, I think that was from other things, but <laughs> yeah. Well, my quarantine was way different. Way different. So. I it lived by myself in a loft in Denver, and like I said, I I did not leave my loft. I think he ate a lot of Pizza Hut. I I I did not eat well. I mean, I gained a lot of weight. I mean, look at this face. Like, we should do a snapshot of, like, what I looked like in March to yeah, now. You don't get oh. so close. I just wanted them to see it. Well, you know, Who a, lot missed people, us? a lot of Who? people are listening. Oh. And not. Who missed us? Because I know that maybe you guys might find this hard to believe, but someone reached out, said they missed us. Yeah, somebody said that your your podcast is very cute. It's yeah. Little... So we are taking that one person, and that is equivalent to at least... A thousand people missed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are we... I mean, I think 2020 is our new year. Like, we're going to make this podcast slash vlog slash... What do we call this thing? It's a podcast, but we just... I just throw it up on YouTube. Just for we're gonna push. We're going to push you out to more things. Like, Colin's going to... Excuse me? Yeah, you should wrap it on your Instagram. Maybe. I feel like the gays would love us. The gays... The people that are coming to my Instagram, I don't think want to be see his podcast. They want to see me naked. I go to his Instagram. And let me tell you something. There were a couple questionable photos last year. Yeah. This so year. If anybody follows me on Instagram, there's a huge debate about the picture. In the bathtub. In the bathtub. I think that you can't see my junk, but everybody 
seems that there's a general consensus that zoom in zoom in he says it's his thigh but for some reason it's floating <laughs> and it's like in the middle of his tummy area or like okay, first of all where do you think your balls they're they it's like float but it's like if you six inches okay. out from your body and on your stomach like okay okay imagine the navel and then directly down so like the center of the body that's where they were located and it was floating it was not your thigh. It was, it was not like, floating. It's a different color. I have a birthmark right there. No, you Actually, it's on the other side. I do have a, I do have a birthmark. Let's show them. Show them what? My birthmark? Yep. No, I'm not going to pull it out of my pants. Anyway, it's right here and it looks like Texas. Mm hmm I feel like we need to validate that. Yeah, I'll show you later. I told you a lot of people don't, uh, can't see. So they I know, but that makes me see. sad that they can't see us because I think we're so cute. Yeah. Even when we get close. Yeah, maybe don't get too Do my shoulders just seem massive in this shirt? Like, I think it's the armbands, maybe. That's I not like it. Is this helping. a new shirt? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like a waffle. Where'd you get it from? I have not a clue. It was one of those ones where you're like somewhere and you're just like, oh, just get it. It was like 12 bucks. Hmm. I like it. And then I went to put it on this morning and Samantha's like, oh, what are you wearing? And I was like, would you prefer me to put on my gray sweater? Because I'm sure the last time they saw me, I was in my gray sweater. Is that your go-to? My go-to gray sweater. You're going to have to change up your outfits now that you're going to be on camera. <sighs> but you said nobody's watching. No, I didn't say nobody's watching. I just think that it gets pushed out more. Because I upload it to, um, I think it's called Podcast One. I don't even remember. Like, this is going to be a struggle of me trying to, like, figure out how I did this before. But I uploaded it to Podcast One and it pushed it out to, like, ten different podcast sites you know what i think people also love to hear that we should bring into 2021 is we either need to do like love and dating because i think everybody loves to hear about that do you does, okay can we just pause for a minute mm -hmm. do you does anybody think that tavia listens to me when i talk or do you think that she just thinks in her mind what she's gonna say next i would like to hear others people's other people's opinions about that because i have my own and anyway i on. was listening to you it's gonna be a struggle okay Anyway, so what are we doing? Love and what? I think we need to, or like murder crime <clears throat> mysteries. Well, I'm about to murder you, so <laughs> we could figure that out real quick. <laughs> because I think people love to hear that. Well, what do you mean? Like read? Like story time? I don't get it. Have you not listened to a murder crime mystery podcast? Well, but are we going to read a story on our podcast? No, we have to like give the details. And then they like are so entranced with our voices. Like, have you not seen our voices? I don't, I don't know if our voices are the ones that people are seeking out. I don't think anybody's gonna put on our voices to like go to bed. We don't listen to a murder mystery to go to bed. You learn. Oh. You listen to a murder mystery when you're driving. Oh. So you know what's gonna happen when you cross state lines, and you're like, wait a second, my car is breaking down. They just talked about this. What not to do? I think you live in a completely different dimension than everybody else. I am listening to books on on uh, in the car. These you don't call them on tape anymore, right? It's because they're digital. <laughs> audio books, <laughs> audio books. Dating myself. He's oh, yeah, listening the guy that, to the eight track like cassette. The guy that I'm dating is also 23. Oh yeah. So slight age gap. I need to stop making those kind of comments about like cassettes because he probably wouldn't know. Does he know how old you are? Yes. Oh. Colin's not it's that old. Kind of hard to tell, like, not to have oh, the gray hair. Yes, that is new. Since you've seen us last. I feel like, did you have blonde hair for one of those? Yeah, last Christmas, you had your blonde hair and your mustache because I was just looking at pictures. And the girls were like, oh my God, look at Colin. Because you were growing out the blonde. And yeah. it was like the curly well, tips. Well, we went to Union Station. You, but you, had, Luke. you had your mustache. You had your Chester stash. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I know. Anyway, so you saw Colin, he had blonde hair, and then it was very thick and black hair. Thick. Thick. K -k -k. But more, more recently, it's not so thick. No, it, look at it. It's, my hair grows crazy fast. Don't touch it. It okay. actually looks good. It does look good, but he went to get his hair done, and the barber, like, thinned it. Well, the thing is with my barber, so it's it's always a struggle because I used to go to a hairstylist and she couldn't do a fade, but she cut the top beautifully. And now I go to a barber and I love his fade, but he doesn't really know how to cut the top. work the hair. So I went in last time and it was like it was long. I was it was like it was, it was out of long. control. Yeah. 
And I was like, can you just thin it out a little bit so it's not so bulky? And he's like, sure. And I start seeing hair coming down like snow. <laughs> and then I ran my fingers through it. And it was just like Nothing. three little, yeah, wisps of whatever. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Well, and thin. <laughs> so he thinned it. And also Colin has some spectacular little grays popping through that are the cutest I've ever seen. I hope a 23 year old appreciates that. No, everybody wants a silver fox. Luke has like three white hairs in his beard and I'm like... Turns you on. I'm like, look at Santa. He's coming to town. <laughs> it's hardly <laughs> Santa. Yeah, if Luke had hair, <clears throat> I think he would be completely salt and pepper by now. Really? I think he would be salt and pepperish. I think a silver fox is hot. So her husband uh, shaves his head. Yeah, yeah, he's bald. But... But he grew out, he started growing his facial hair during quarantine. Yeah. And I think it looks very sexual. Yeah, he did. He grew out a goatee and it's now, for a while, it was like my new husband, my quarantine husband. But now it just is here. And I think I would, like it better. Would you be sad? Did you like it in the beginning? Yeah, because it felt different. Like you're sleeping and ah! cheating on him. Yeah, like I was with Gary. Would, <sighs> <laughs> Luke was like, could you pick a better name for me? I was like, I just don't know what name I Oh, you called him Gary? I was like, you're like Gary. And he's like, can I have a better name? And I was like, what What do you want? What name So do you let like? me ask you this. Would you be sad if you shaved it now? I think I would be because I've been recently looking at pictures from like just last year. Yeah. And he looks like a baby. Yeah. Which is, I, he's fine. a very handsome man, but I just like the facial hair. I do too. It adds a little depth, a little something. Yeah, he's not just like a squeaky clean seal. Exactly, yeah. Right, he's got like a little something. Right, and I, I think, think that cute. he manicures it very nicely. Mm -hmm. He manicures way more than I do. Oh, Lukey. I know. How often does he shave his head again? Every other day. Every other day. Is it like on a timer or he just says, oh, I shaved yesterday. It's shaving so day. Shave shaving day. Oh. Yeah, so he shaved yesterday, so he'll shave Friday. He probably shaves his head more than you shave your legs. Fact. How often do you sh shave your legs? Not every other day. Maybe when I'm getting a pedicure. So like they don't a grow month. like that bad. I've Touch seen them pretty. What is oh, last those are shaved? hairy. Is this hairy? Oh, this has been like a few weeks. Oh, okay. So it's not bad. I'm not a hairy person. It's not person. like my like, No, but like, I mean, they're dark, but they're soft. So it's like in the winter, he's like snuggling with my leg hair. <laughs> I'm sure as it loves that. 2021, I'll get better at manicuring all parts of me. Yeah. Mm hmm And quarantine. Are you gonna to... get your vag wax? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> like that seems so scary. Well, Samantha goes and gets it. You should just go with her. Just bring it. I feel like that's down. when the podcast has to be like there needs to be like one of those like trifold partitions, and you're on the other side, just like. And we just listen. Filming and we're talking or, through it. Or I just zoom in on your face as you're getting it done. <laughs> that would be a great TikTok, actually. Oh my. TikTok. Yeah. Should we bring it in? Sure. Should yeah. we do TikTok? No, we're not doing TikTok. I'm too old for that. And I don't really understand. Tavia's gotten sucked into TikTok on Instagram because they're now doing. I don't really get it. So the people do TikToks and then they upload them to Instagram? I think so. I'm sounding really old again. but I know. I don't really know. I just know that if you go into the little magnifying glass that used to just be populated of gay men on my phone because I would search whatever Colin was like, oh, look at this. And I would search it <laughs> and my phone was just naked gay men. Yeah. For the longest time. And now it's just like, um, like the Kardashians or pimple popping or like TikTok videos. So what kind of TikTok do you, you see? You just go to the. It's just like you start explore. with one. Yeah, you just start with one, and it just like four hours later. You just get sucked. It's in. actually awful. I'm thinking about being a little like it's time to delete some apps. Are you gonna delete Instagram? I feel like that's what everybody's doing right now is deleting apps to like control how much yeah. content they're consuming because we're we are consuming a lot of content. Yeah, it's just like too much. And it might be unhealthy. It's, I think it's unhealthy. Like it's unhealthy. Like I'm telling Luke TikTok tricks or hacks. And Are you like, secretly what? doing TikToks and you're just not telling no, me? No, I wish I knew how to do a TikTok. I have no idea. Like there is one that I've, I see over and over and it's like this song 
and I just want to do it, but I don't even know the name of the song. I don't know how you're supposed to search for it. I don't know how you're supposed to do the talk TikTok. Well, because I was watching, what Samantha always makes me watch TikToks, TikToks with her. And we do talk about her a lot. Remember, she, I told like, her she was, that you were coming over. She's like, "I didn't invite me." I was like, "No, it's not called Samantha Talk. It's Tammy Talk." Yeah. Anyway, um, she Samantha always makes me watch TikToks, and there. So you see the dances. Like if you're in the actual TikTok app, mm -hmm. you can filter by the songs. You can hear the same song and see people do different oh. dances. And then some people do tutorials for the dance or whatever you're doing. So they slow it down, and then you can learn. That sounds like a lot. I'm going to find you in your kitchen over here. You're like, body, yada, 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 yada. Two, what? Just one second, one second. I almost got it. I almost got it. <laughs> I did learn the WAP dance. Did you? I don't think I've ever seen you do it. You did you do it? I've done it for Wait, multiple who? people. <laughs> Where? I normally have consumed some alcohol. Oh. So I did it at Lisa's house. To show Lisa and Sid that I could do it. Yeah. And then I did it at Nikki's house. Did you hurt your knees? Because I yeah, hurt so, my knees on hardwood. Yeah, Lisa, that was the problem. I was like, the hardwood floor is not conducive. And so I was like, oh, oh, flip and turn and split. Like, I had to slow it down. Right. Because that is painful. Right, yeah. Well, like, especially when you're not on your knees all the time and they're not yeah, callous like mine. Not on my knees. On the, I told Luke about you and your endeavors. Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, wait, how does that just come about? I was like, that's what I want to know. Like, who just does that? So, Tavia was referring to the other morning, I gave somebody fellatio, uh, like 8 o'clock in the morning. It just happened. It doesn't just happen. You don't just like, you don't just like see somebody on the street and you're like, hey, you want a, a blowy? <laughs> like, that's what you should be doing to your husband. He's not even here at 8 in the morning. There was correspondence that took place before 8 a.m. Yeah. If you call or text me prior to 8 a.m., I am not responding to you. You have to start your day off on the right foot. That, in my book, <laughs> is a full-on nightmare. Uh, it's not the right foot. It's not the left foot. That's like you just flipped me upside down out of bed and was like, get the fuck up. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm sure every, somebody would like to flip you upside down in no. bed. Yeah, Luke would. I'm sure he would. But, but can we do it during normal business hours? 8 o'clock. Is not a business hour. So when this store is open, baby. Not not anymore. <laughs> COVID has made everything open at 11. That's annoying to me. Well, isn't it just so funny that girls don't like giving fellatio? I just feel like that's I a classy I have term. never, yeah. I have never thought of a word to be so <laughs> icky until you started saying that. <laughs> so <laughs> Fellatio? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just you just ski right <laughs> God, like what is that? I just like people don't like the word panties, and I'm like panties, 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 panties. But that I'm like, oh, what? Like it kind of sounds like like isn't there a term like when you fart that it's like there's like another word when you shart when you no, poop your pants a like, little? Isn't there a fallacy? Like a word, like a better term for farting that starts like fellatio. Like it sounds like pistachio, but fellatio. <laughs> like are you sure that fellatio isn't passing gas? I'm a hundred percent sure. Are you? Are you though? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think it means to pass gas. No, no, I do know. I I think I do know what you're talking about. There's some word where I think it's fellatio. Where you're no. <laughs> Call now likes, you just like call saying the word. To fart on people. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I know what you're talking. Is it like a ph, right? Ph word. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll figure it out. We're gonna get back to you on that. Anyway, I think it's so funny that girls don't like giving fellatio and guys do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, thank you. How boring. How basic, bitch, over here. Yeah. It's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. So what are you doing for Christmas? I guess we'll be on podcast before Christmas. Oh, we're going to see you again. So we are bringing it back. Um, or we'll... we'll because half your family's sick, right? So you're not doing Christmas? No. Oh, that side of the family, yeah. They're sick. So we have to push to January. Oh, you guys are going to do Christmas in January? Yeah, because... That's interesting. Well, we don't have a choice. 
I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I don't think it matters. But I know a lot of people that did Thanksgiving two weeks after because their kids came home from college and they wanted them to quarantine before. Gross. Before having Thanksgiving. Coming over? Well, we're going to be Christmas in January. Um, Savannah's birthday is probably going to be in January. Savannah's turning five, which is wild. Um, wasn't I like, I was at a gay bar doing line dancing this time last year. This time five, five years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was that? Uh, Charlie's. Charlie's. I have a picture of you standing between those two guys in their underwear. Yeah. I didn't you see the time I answer it. are so little. I look little. They were just big. They're big guys. But you look like, like a hundred pounds. Yeah. You were little. Colin has beefed up. Like these shoulders, they like compete with mine. <laughs> they compete. <laughs> um, what wait, are you going to something delivered? What I is think that? Tavia's getting a car delivered or something. What's happening? I don't know. Anyway, you're going to ask me what I'm doing for Christmas? That's the trash truck. Oh, okay. Um, what are you doing? That's for my ride. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing for Christmas? Well, we're not doing anything. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom usually does Christmas, but she didn't really want to this year. What? I'm, I'm spilling all the beans. I'm spilling all the tea right now. She didn't really want to this year because she put so much effort into it. And she does it. I think it's partly her fault because she says, like, a yeah. come whenever you want style. And yeah. some people, like, drink the night before and... That you're hungover and don't come over. My family drinks, you okay. know, and like, or people stay for like 15 minutes or like, you know, it, so it's a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. And so yeah. my mom's like, I don't know if I want to do it this year. And I said, this is the perfect year to not do it. Yeah, and blame it on COVID. And so she's been telling my family, my family's like throwing fit that she won't do it. And I'm like, now you guys want it. Now you guys want my mom well, to do this whole thing. She should have like a party, not like an open house. I think she's just over it for this year. I think she's just going to let it breathe for It's just going to be you two? Yeah, I usually spend a couple days over there, so I'll probably do that. And what are we having out. for dinner? I don't know. Just him and his mama. Mm -hmm. My mom's not a very good cook, so maybe I'll order something. She makes a mean casserole. It's touch and go. <laughs> it's touch and go. <laughs> Some of them are good, yes. Speaking of, I'm starving. We're I'm gonna have so... To watch. Oh, I was thinking Mod Market. No? Okay. What, what did you have your heart set on? Oh, we're going to go to Jimmy John's. Ew, no. Oh. Do not eat at Jimmy John's. Let me tell you why. Because the owner or the CEO or whatever he is, first of all, kills animals like elephants. Yeah, those pictures are pretty the, They're disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. And I'm not like against hunting. Like, let's not start the hate wagon, but like... <laughs> Like, if you're going to kill a deer and process it and have the meat to feed your family, good for you. I eat meat, okay? So I'm not, like, against that. But what I am against is, king, like, murdering an elephant just to sit on its head and, like, take a picture. Well, That's not okay do, with me. Doesn't he do, like, rare animals? Yes, and, and, and there was a picture of him laying naked, also frightening picture, on top of a shark. Like, I, that, I mean, I don't know why we killed weird. a shark anyways. Was there anything to behind that story, or that you just saw that picture? That maybe he was comparing them, their sizes, to each other, him and the shark. And it was just gross. Like, why are you laying naked on a shark anyways? Like, So, you'll eat at Jimmy John's, but you'll, you won't eat at Jimmy John's, but you'll eat at Chick-fil-A. <sighs> okay. this, this is a point of contention between us, mm -hmm. because Chick-fil-A, talk about the hate trade. Chick-fil-A does not support... I would say a lot of minorities, but basically uh, gay people. Can you show me this evidence? Oh, I'll show you. Okay. Because I have evidence that Jimmy John's man is disgusting. Um, and I would like the evidence of the gay hate because I am LGTQ plus ultra. <laughs> you are. You're more of an advocate than I am. Yes, honestly. absolutely. And I don't know if ultra is even part of the, after the plus I yet. Think you can or, add any letters that you want. Well, I actually heard somebody say LGBTQ plus and they added a couple other things. And I was like, I think it, what do just, those stand up for? What people are, are just typing letters at this letters. point. Letters. Well, I am LGBTQ plus ultra. I'm the premium channel of it. Let's just say that. So I will. You got to pay to play. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Don't fuck with my gaze. Oh. oh. 
Don't mess Your with that. Your little potty mouth. <laughs> I get heated when we talk about that. Okay, well, our time is up. I forget how we end this. Um, that's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. Is that what we that's said? How... Follow Colin on Colin's Cosmos. Uh, wherever you're listening yeah. or watching, subscribe to hear us. We upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and thanks so much for joining us, and we yeah. will check you on the next one. Yeah, we're going to become, like, the new viral sensation. Okay. You have a great day. Love ya. Bye. <laughs>